Now that the government has extended the mandatory conscription from four months to one year, the education ministry has also loosened regulations relating to undergraduate studies. The goal is to let students who do their military training complete their studies faster and finish at the same time as their peers who don't do military training. Under the new system, they will be able to gain a bachelor's degree after three years rather than the standard four. The so-called 3 plus 1 plan will be rolled out this year in September. Starting next year, Taiwan's military service will be extended to one year. The Ministry of National Defence recently announced its 3 plus 1 plan, which lets university students complete four years of study credits within three years. Students can use the remaining year for military service. Whether you decide to use your fourth year for military service actually depends on the person, because in fact, some people may prefer to take on an internship or complete a project. The pressure might be even greater if it's three years, and I probably don't want to take on so many credits. The Education Ministry has come up with related policies to make it possible. They include relaxing rules, such as raising maximum amount of study credits allowed per semester, loosening application requirements for summer school, and increasing the maximum amount of credits allowed to be taken at partner universities. The new regulations will take effect in September for new freshmen. In order to reduce teaching costs for universities and colleges, provided students choose to take on special projects relating to their military service, each public tertiary institution will be subsidised 60,000 NT per head, and each private one 120,000. In addition, universities and colleges will assist future conscripts to create summer courses, with any resulting funding gaps to be subsidised by the Education Ministry. People who don't have to do military service, such as female students, should also be able to shorten the years that they take to complete courses if they so wish. If the shorter degrees work well and are beneficial to the students, then why not allow it for everyone? The National Federation of Teachers Unions thinks that allowing male undergraduates to take on special projects relating to military service would give rise to two paths for tertiary education. It says it could also affect students' rights relating to matters such as summer internships. The union thinks the Education Ministry should draft more comprehensive policies to strike a balance between education quality and learning time.